outside now. To avoid the traffic jams that almost made her miss her flight last time in Kinshasa, Giselle Mwepu, Okapi Finance CEO and founder, found a tip. Giselle is very impressed to see how quickly the Congolese cooks prepare this big fish freshly caught in the Congo River. It's time to savor this fresh food in 30 degrees sunlight. Ah, Africa is blessed. <laughs> While Giselle tries to finish her big fresh braised fish, Let's do a flashback on the last days of her trip in Ivory Coast, the country of Didier Drogba. This morning in Abidjan, Giselle met several partners, Atlas Insurance, Chorus Bank, on leaving Chorus Bank, a street child accosted Giselle. The child insists, as we say, success is a step after the end of persistence. The child receives a $20 bill and lives very happy. No time to waste, go to the next appointment at Pepsi Ivory Coast. The guided tour begins and Giselle can only be impressed by this modern technology and the quality of service at Pepsi in Abidjan. Discussions on a potential partnership between Okapi Finance and Pepsi Côte d'Ivoire will continue. It's time to leave Abidjan, an impressive city which is today at the heart of Africa's renaissance.
on the next episode, Giselle meets in Kinshasa a person who since 1976 has worked medical miracles in rural areas in the DRC. With her own means, and has helped thousands of families. Now, it's Okapi's turn to help him with his technology too. Stay connected for the rest of life at Okapi Finance. Okapi, our mission is to bank the unbanked by actively participating in financial inclusion. Okapi's services increase accessibility to financial services. Okapi is a Swedish uh, fintech company with the mission to achieve financial inclusion.